Hey, it's Gwen, and I'm sitting here in my office, and I'm reading the questions that have come in, and I'm, I love getting the questions, by the way, so please send as many as you want. And this one artist, Margaret, said, when do you know when you're a real artist? And I thought, such a good question, because have you ever wondered if you were a real artist? Well, I know I have at many times in my career, and this is a very personal thing to wonder that. And sometimes it's so personal, we don't we don't even want to give it air. We don't want to give that thought any air at all. But you know those times. It's like you don't want to go into the studio. You're void of any creativity. You don't you don't have any desire to be there. You don't even want to create. You, you know, because you're filled with this kind of a, this insipid fear that has just stopped you completely. And you question everything you do, and then you question it over and over and over. And you feel like you've failed yourself, and you feel like you've failed your dream. And and you've you've forgotten how to start a painting, let alone finish it. Sound familiar? And you know, you realize that your inner critic is having a field day with your mind and you can't shut it up. Why? Because you feel that perhaps what that inner critic is saying to you just might be true. And you're you're also wondering, well, you know, I don't know if I'm a real artist, but do real artists go through this? Well, I'm here to tell you that every artist goes through this, so don't feel special. But this is what makes an artist real. They show up when they're creatively empty. They're persistent. They go into the studio and they, in order to get that creativity back, they they read art books, they have a trash can painting day, or maybe they just play with paint in order to get that desire back and that creativity back because sometimes the mojo just leaves. You know, and then a real artist will share this fear with somebody, somebody they really trust because they know that person has their back. They know that. Because they also know that if they don't share that fear, it will destroy them. They don't make excuses because they're not going into the studio. They don't say, oh, I would, but I've got to do this or I've got to do that. No. That would be the easy way out. Real artists don't do that. And I have talked about being art, being an artist and, and doing our art is like climbing the artistic mountain. And I use that analogy in another video, but I want to go a little bit deeper with it because it needs to be. There isn't just one artistic mountain. There, each artist has their own mountain. Let's face it. You know, you are at a different place than your friends. So your mountain may very well be just that you want to get into your first juried show. You reach that. Then there's a taller mountain. That may be getting into your first national juried show. That's a biggie. Each step of the way, the mountain is your mountain. It's your individual goals. It's where you want to go. And But a real artist doesn't just look at how much work has to be done. They don't look at, they don't look at like, oh my gosh, they don't just look at the top of this mountain and say, I don't, I, I may never get there. No, they look back. They look behind them and see how far they've come. And that is their true measure of success, as I said in that last video. That is their true measure of success. 
Now, they don't give up. They don't give up because they know that creativity is their sanity. It's their love. It's their life. Besides, guess what? You know what? We we go to the studio. We People think we just play. But, of course, we know we don't just play. It's hard work. But we do it. We can stay there as long as we want. We can go. We can come out. We're on our own schedule. I think we're totally unemployable. So we might as well just keep going. I mean, that would be the best. This is a real artist. One that never gives up. One that keeps going. One that is the lion that is protecting themselves. This is a real artist. And guess what? This is you. You are a real artist. So I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye. I love you.